hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box and or a coaching session. Um, that's also in the description box. Um, or you can locate my Etsy shop to book that. And all of the readings have been completed. So this is an ancestor message today. <laughs> Okay, messages from your ancestors. So let me see what they want to say. Okay, they want me to pull some karma cards. So I'm going to pull some cards from my karma deck for you. I'm also, they also want me to pull some... some cards from my Heal Yourself reading cards. I just saw Saturn, so. All right, so what do the ants, so they want me to, okay, pull Halloweeny first. <laughs> they said I need to get a different deck. <laughs> I know, I'm going to do that. So I do have some ancestor decks on my wish list, and I'm going to order some. <laughs> I have a wish list for myself. <laughs> So I order my soul stuff. Um, I am going to get it, I promise. <laughs> so, yeah, see? They're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. They're saying, with love. <laughs> All right, so what do the ancestors want to say? You're the witch. You're the earthly weaver of the worlds. You are co-creating. There could be something that you're not seeing right now that you need to see. Um, could have hidden talents at night, okay? So again, this talks about at night, midnight could be significant, okay? Um, maybe you need to meditate, pause at nighttime um, to see something. What is it that they're not seeing? What is it that they're not seeing? What's the blind spot? So, Hermit energy, Virgo energy. This is Hermit. Okay, this is about self-reflecting. There's something you're not seeing. What is it? What is it? What are they not seeing? What are they not seeing? 52 could be significant. Something about family. Ten of Pentacles. Clarify that, please. Could be about money as well. This is about having victory over divine masculine energy or your divine masculine and having boundaries. So there's something here you're not seeing. I don't know if you're balanced right now. So because I did see temperance, that's about balancing your masculine and your feminine. You may not be balanced seeing your masculine energy enough. You could be too much in your feminine. Remember, we all encompass these energies, so they both have to be balanced within us. Because if we're too much in our feminine, then we become passive. Okay? So this is about respecting our boundaries. So someone here could be too much into their feminine. How so? This could be affecting your money. So what do they need to do? Could involve an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This, there's some kind of conflict. What's the conflict? The balance. There's an imbalance between you and this person. How? So, so how can... 
I feel like I'm just going to tell you this. I feel like I'm talking to Divine Feminine. And, and most of the time, that's how it always ends up playing out. So divine what can divine feminine do to balance this out this is something this is some kind of this is passion this is sexuality so your root chakra could be blocked as well as your sacral um what else taking passionate action towards what talking to him about something devil energy Okay, what? <laughs> this is having a conversation with him about some kind of action that you may feel is manipulative. I just saw a gnat. That's not good. Wait a second. I knew this ancestor message was about to be long. Because I wasn't going to do them, do it, and then they were like, no, you need to. So... So a gnat is about transformation, adaptability, and community. I feel like someone is in the middle of a transformation. This is also symbolic of cleansing and renewal. So a gnat is an indicator that a shift is needed, right? A transformation. Renewal and transfer. We've been seeing that a lot lately, okay, about renewal and transformation, death, rebirth, underworld, ending of karmic cycles. So what what is needed? What has to shift? What because this is messing up your money. What is needed from divine feminine? Yep, and there it is. Death and rebirth. What is needed in order to shift? This is ending a conflict. What's the conflict? Or a war for some of you? I don't know. This is weird. What is the conflict? What needs to end? What clarify the Ten of Pentacles that needs to end? If you're in a rough situation with this air sign here, then you need to work on forgiveness or this person needs to work on forgiving you. Yeah, something about a third party. Or if you're in a third party, this is not balanced. If someone is trying to put you in a third party, this is not balanced. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, because this person is your spouse, is your kingdom spouse, as they say, is your counterpart. This person is meant to marry you in this lifetime or you are already spiritually married. So if this person is trying to put you in a third party, that's not going to work. Your ancestors are saying this. Your ancestors are saying no. I told you this is that's eight of wands is about communication and fast. This is from the spiritual realm. Someone that's a Cancer or a Pisces could be trying to hold on to someone because they don't want to have a loss. This is creating a loss of money for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is what is creating a money block. 
Right, so you have to release this. You don't want to. It's going to take a lot of strength to, to do something new. But if you want to move away from this Ten of Swords, you got to take action. Wow, so this is like, yeah, Hierophant for tradition. You have to take action for a traditional relationship. What's going to happen if they don't do anything? If nobody takes action? Well, number one, I feel like it's divine masculine. They need to take action, not feminine. So the feminine could be single or, I don't know, they're not doing anything. Um, except speaking, you need to speak your mind. Maybe you need to tell your divine masculine this. You may need to tell them this because um, <laughs> they may not be heeding the warnings or paying attention to the signs of the universe so or listening to their intuition they could just be being very logical yeah they got to connect to their heart space they need to listen to their heart this is like money and heart <laughs> it's like what it, i feel like their heart knows what it wants to do but then their mind steps in and is like this isn't i shouldn't do this Something about the logic of it is not sitting well with this person. Yeah, it creates an imbalance. Um, and maybe they're scared about losing money. They have to go within. The Virgo has to get a divorce too. That's a, I don't know. I don't know if somebody's been praying or somebody, because that's what they're saying. Somebody's been asking for guidance or praying and asking um, for something. And th this is your answer. And also, if you know that this isn't, like, if this isn't your story, then it, it's not your story, right? If you If you know who you're not meant to be with, then this is not yours intended for you okay i don't know there's something here so that's what it looks like so are they headed in the right direction is divine feminine and masculine headed in the right direction so this is a yes so maybe this is just confirmation that what you're doing is correct this is emotional fulfillment here for the both of you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. This is Divine Feminine here. Okay. Yeah, if you've been stuck in your head or overthinking, just know that you are making the right decision to become single and heal. Okay. Because you're going to be reconciling and coming to a place of, place of celebration. Okay. Yeah, the both of you are manifesting this together. Yeah. I feel like you keep getting fearful or getting into a place of fear about your divine masculine. Why, why are they scared? Why are they scared of divine masculine? Because he doesn't give a lot of time. Maybe she feels he's emotionally limited. But anything you want to say about this? But this is a karmic cycle. And he could be doing this because of the karmic relationship as well. Because he's not able to be fully present with you. This is coming from your ancestors, okay? But he is your spouse, okay? He is your king of pentacles. This is what you wanted, okay? He is what you wanted. Now, what's the tower? You have to be patient. Look at this. Temperance and the lovers. You have to be patient, but also speak your truth and stand your ground, okay? About where you're headed, what you want for your future. You need to express yourself. Someone's not telling their, their person what they want. This could be delaying something within him. He could be like, oh, she's fine with this. No, but she's really not. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. But they're really not here, okay? Yeah.
yeah. 39 could be significant. 23 could be significant. Yep. Okay. What else do you want to say um, to them? Don't fear. You have unnecessary fear about this person. Someone, if someone was ever scared of their divine masculine or fearful of anything involving this person, you don't have to be scared of anything. They're definitely trying to contact you around midnight, your ancestors. Yeah, you could do scrying if you're, or you may need to start scrying, okay? If you're not familiar with that, look into it. Because they could, con your ancestors are trying to communicate to you through scrying. Yep, there it is. So you have a talent for scrying. You don't know this, okay? You could be... So a werewolf could be significant or a confirmation for some of you. Um, but you have, this is a gift you have. Okay. What message wants to come out for the scrying to help them with what? So the message they're going to send to you through scrying is about a risk that you have to take or you may feel like it's a risk okay you're definitely they're going to talk to you about creating through the ashes that means the tower that means when you burn everything to the ground and you start over right they are going to your ancestors want to tell you what to do and what you're going going to receive after you do it yeah the dawn after the darkness stop trying to control everything they're saying okay you need to be able to listen to their guidance as well as your higher powers guidance okay something about a fire is significant because that's a fire in the fields and i've never noticed that there's something about a fire that's significant um the light after the darkness Okay, so this is about your future. They don't want, you're not going to, if you think you're going to regret something, you're not going to regret anything. The underworld. Something about the underworld is significant. Maybe some of you think you're going to die or something because there's unnecessary fear, again, underneath that. Uh, maybe you don't want to face your shadow. Maybe you're scared. Maybe you're scared of your person seeing your full shadow. I don't know. But it's your twin, so they're not going to care. Yeah. That's what it is. It's like, will she still love me when I take off my mask? Yes. She will. And the two of you are going to discover your life purpose. 29 could be significant. Okay. And the both of you are going to, I just saw inner child. <laughs> the both of you are going to heal your inner child together. Okay. Taking off your masks. Okay. 11. soulmate home you're going back home this is your soulmate this is your person it's safe to take off your mask you don't have to wear that mask anymore okay i feel like you both can see one another right you both know who each other is and you both adore one another and see the beauty in each other okay love 28 you are completely in love with one, the other one, okay? And sad without one another. So what keeps them apart? This is crazy. <laughs> What's keeping them apart? Rejection. 
rejection. Somebody is scared that they're going to be rejected. She couldn't fully love me or he, or he may not. Uh, I don't think it's him though. I don't think she feels this way at all. I think it's him. That's what I'm channeling. 13 could be significant. 1331, unleash your creativity. There's something that you two have to be doing. Like, okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to tell you this. So <sighs> spirit is about to push your ancestors and spirit are about to really push all this feelings and stuff and fear and all this stuff out of the way because you guys have something you have to do. Unleashing your creativity together. Can't do it apart. Can't do it separately. You're going to have to do it together. Nobody's going to reject the other one. Okay. So I'm hearing like your ancestors are like, oh my God, they're going to do this forever. Like, and then I also saw a meme that said message from your ancestors. Hello. Don't you hear the fucking ringing in your ear? Like that was, <laughs> I laughed at that. I thought that was hilarious. Um, because somebody, somebody's ancestors feels like you're not listening. Like somebody's ancestors are like, you're not listening to us. What are you doing? Stop trying to control everything. Nobody's going to reject you. Why do they feel like they're going to re get rejected? I definitely feel like this is divine masculine. feels like they're going to get rejected. Like I mean, she knows who I really am. Yeah. Maybe they feel like you have another soulmate or they're comparing themselves to someone else that you were with or that you're currently with. And they're like, I don't think they're going to love me or something or be able to deal with me compared to that. They're like comparing themselves. Sexual arts. They could be comparing themselves sexually to your person. Maybe they feel like for some of you, they feel like you prefer the person you're with sexually or they feel like in they're very insecure about how they perform sexually okay you just have to take off your mask and just be you and you need to pay attention to the signs that are being given to you through your ancestors an owl is significant you need to have courage okay everything you want this person and they want you you need to have faith you're like lacking in faith right now what are the ancestors working doing going to do so they're telling me that this is a warning so heed this advice Nothing bad's going to happen, but they're preparing you, okay? Yeah, they're saying that you need to be prepared, okay? There's a gnat, again, that they threw in my face. So this is about um, transformation, endings. Okay, what's coming? Something in the four, fourth house in regards to family, your home base or family, what makes you feel secure is shifting. Shocker. Because the message we got yesterday said the same thing. Yep, the sun. Things are going to be brought to light. So there could be a conversation. A really honest conversation that's going to bring a shift into somebody's home life this is for the best this feels like someone who is finally saying you know what I'm tired of living a lie and they are going to remove the mask and and be honest no matter how I'm hearing no matter how ugly or whatever it may be the truth is the truth. You, you can't help how you feel. And I've always said that. You can't help how you feel. Okay? People cannot help their own feelings. Okay? Somebody could have somebody that's completely adores them. That's perfect in every way. Okay? 
meets all their expectations, right? Great human being, but you may not love them. And that's okay. A lot of people don't like to admit that. A lot of people feel feel ashamed for that. And it's like, what's wrong with me that I can't love this person? There's nothing wrong with you. You just don't have a connection. You're just not compatible spiritually, okay? On this in the spiritual realm, you are not compatible. And that is just what it is. Okay? It doesn't mean that there are anything less. It doesn't mean that you know, something's wrong with them. It just means that just what I said, they're just not meant for you. They're meant for someone else. Okay. And that there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Good fortune, Jupiter, the grantings of blessings from Jupiter. So I don't know somebody's doing something right. This is a major change. Wow. Eighth house, fourth house. So 84, 48 could be significant. That may resonate with someone. <clears throat> That's what your ancestors are about to deliver on your doorstep. Whoa. Okay, ancestors come through. <laughs> What part of what is creating this shift? What is creating this shift apart from this conversation? You could be getting some kind of dreams. A tiger could be significant in fairies as well. The number three. 38 and 33, procrastination. So you may feel like you're procrastinating or maybe you feel kind of like in a hangman energy, but your ancestors are saying, no, there's something that's being prepared sexually for you. It has something to do with sexuality. 38, 33 could be significant. There's your family and your tribe. Okay. They're getting something prepared and tigers are definitely significant because there's another tiger and a cat. <laughs> so yeah, your soulmate is being prepared for you and you're being prepared for your soulmate as well. Maybe they're having to clear, um, clean out their sexuality or heal their sexuality. Okay. Cause there we go with the healing. Okay. And they're asking you, how teachable are you? Are you ready to be taught something? Are you ready to learn? I feel like you are. You're finally ready for something major. You're finally ready for something. You weren't ready before, but you're ready now. Yeah, you may have been scared that this was some type of entrapment, that this was like the ops trying to trick you or something like that, okay? That was your ego. Um, yeah, that was you self-sabotaging. You're not doing this anymore. So this is what you did, okay? You could have did this for a while. This was a cycle of you entrapping yourself in self-sabotage. Look, and those are like lower vibe energies, okay? Look at this. Tricksters, okay? But you got yourself out of it. You finally said, F it. I feel like something was control, like your ego was controlling you with fear, okay? 2929 as I said that. But now you're not. You're like, you know what? I don't give a shit. <laughs> listening to my intuition no matter what this looks like in a logical perspective I feel like what you had to do was override logic because your intuition what I feel like what I'm channeling is that your intuition was telling you to do something and then every time you went to do it something weird would happen in the physical that would 
make you weary or leery of going towards something. And so it made you kind of afraid, right? And you're like, oh, I don't think this is the right path. And then you would back away. You would self-sabotage. But I feel like at some certain point, you were like, you know what? F this. And you just jumped off the cliff. And you never turned back, right? You didn't have no harness on. You just free fell. So there is no going back once you do that. I feel like this is what somebody did. So this is what basically broke I'm hearing broke the spell. Somebody could have even tried to hex you or something. Maybe this was a generational curse. This could have been a family curse because your family is here very heavily. Okay. So maybe your family tried to do something to you. Somebody in your family. Um, I'm hearing karmic mother. Yep. Look. Home. This is definitely someone you lived with. This could have been from the spiritual realm. Okay. Done in the spiritual realm. Um... And when people talk about, when we talk about cursing and hexing and all that type of stuff, you know, anything can be a curse and a hex, okay? Don't get me wrong. You don't actually have to engage in, like, root work or um, anything like that in order to hex somebody, okay? If you come from a bloodline where there's a lot of healers or people that were involved in the occult and knew how to manipulate energy, let me tell you something. Your thoughts, your words, your intention is all that is needed, to create a hex or a spell or a curse. So what I'm saying is that if your mother or anyone in your family did this to you or could have cursed your mother because of something she did, just out of their mouth, if you come from a bloodline where that is heavily rooted, you have your words have power, okay? So... You don't actually have to be, like I said, dealing in root work and doing all this kind of stuff and doing actual spells, okay? Because some people are the spell, okay? That's all it takes. So this is kind of what I feel like was going on, and this is a lot of generational trauma. But the good people in your family... Yeah, this is why it took a lot of courage for you to do this, okay? Because I feel like you had people in your family that were even against you. Your fam but you have some family and tribes here that were not against you, okay? They were like, uh-uh, we're not going to let her fail. We're not going to let y'all do this to her, Okay? Yeah, this is why you were being called to have patience. And why they were talking to you, why you were getting a lot of signs. You were being called to be patient and sit still, okay? And love yourself, okay? And continue having faith, okay? Wow. What was the um what were what was the intentions of the ancestors that wanted to work against them? The ancestors or the people in their family that wanted to work against them. What did they want for her? Oh, shocker. They wanted you to continue in the same cycles over and over and over. They also wanted you to lose your sight. So I definitely feel like you're a seer. Most divine feminines are. Notice how her right eye is it looks like it has a dagger in it. Yep. They wanted you to lose your gifts. They wanted you, your own effing karmic family members wanted you to lose your vision. They wanted you to lose your sight so that you would continue this cycle. So this is someone who not only had opposition from outside influence, but also you also had your own people working against you. What would they benefit from doing this? What would they benefit from doing this? How would they benefit from doing this? Well, the karmic cycle would continue because that's a 10. It says pay attention to the signs. Something about wildness. 
something about wild. They would be allowed to remain wild. 25 could be significant here. What else would they benefit? Something about a phoenix rising. So they may have wanted someone else in your family line for you to pass on the trauma to someone else. Why? Why would why why were they targeting someone else? What did they think they could do? They could they could steer this person towards a different soulmate. But what would they benefit? They were trying to create rejection and pride and a hole in your soul. Wow. So they wanted to basically destroy one of your children is what I'm getting. They were going to target one of your children if you didn't have the courage. They were going to try to destroy her for with temptation. looks like a dragon or a snake or something yeah someone has a light worker or an earth angel child daughter that they were going to try to corrupt They didn't want her to listen to her intuition. They wanted her to be tied to worldly things. They wanted her to be tied to worldly things. And feel alone. And search for love away from you. And then they would end up controlling her through this person. Wow. And then in turn, this would, they would let, be able to be free. So I feel like they may be stuck in the shadows. They're of Celtic origin, by the way. So this is England, Ireland, or Scotland. Okay. They're of Celtic origin and they could be stuck in the shadows because of shit that they've done. So they needed you to do this, to fulfill this in order for them to be released. Not today. So the good ancestors were helping. What are the good ancestors helping to do? Helping to achieve in the family line. They want to say this, so this is a big message. Alchemy, alchemizing, same same thing, probably for a different purpose. <laughs> okay, not self-serving. <laughs> alchemizing this wild energy, okay? So, alchemizing that and receiving help from above, okay, notice the difference, <laughs> Receiving help from the prime source creator to create a phoenix rising within you, okay? But you have to heal something sexually, okay? So they could have traumatized you sexually. Yep. I feel like there was a lot of sexual trauma with this divine feminine. And that's how they try. So they're trying to help you heal this. You could have rejected your own sexuality or your own desires and your light worker family is trying to help you. The healers in your family are helping you find a true soulmate that loves you for you and that you can trust and that will, you know, adore you. 
this is why how teachable are you so he is being brought in to teach you something to help you to help you grow i'm hearing to help you learn your power he's also your home he will also help you heal your inner child but you are not a victim of his. Something about this, he may have betrayed you in the past or something, and you may feel as if you're his victim or something, but your ancestors are trying to get you out of this victim consciousness, okay? And get you out of this prideful energy. Because if you sit in a place of having too much pride, yep, that's your intuition. Your intuition's, you're not gonna hear your intuition. You're gonna be listening to your ego. You're not his victim. You're not a victim, okay? Your counterpart, who your family is trying to hook you up with, um, is going to help you. I don't know. I'm hearing step into your power or create what you were meant to create for yourself. Yeah, see your true beauty or something like that. He's not trying to trap you. Yeah, because you two stop sabotaging yourself, your ancestors are saying, and be patient with him and you. So if you're not being patient with yourself or with him, you're going to sabotage yourself. Don't do that, okay? Um, he's going to bring in something for you, or your ancestors are helping him to bring in something for the both of you. I don't know. It's something like that, okay? Because these cards said that. Anything else you want to say about that? I'm getting a lot of patience. Be patient. Continue to heal yourself. Love yourself. There's something about sexuality that needs to be healed. Um, this is the fourth house. Again, same cards. So they're telling me the same story. This is going to make you feel secure in your home base, in your family. Okay? Because something about your home base and your family is shifting. That's what I was getting, like, you're going to be moving soon and all of that jazz, because you are. <sighs> what do they need to focus on at this time? 4242. I have never gotten that message so, so strong before in my life <laughs> about being patient and something is coming. Yeah, you can't see the future here you're not going to see it coming i literally just said that you're not going to see this coming it's going to be a surprise but a good one okay this is for you you have created manifested this and you are protected so if there's someone or something that you're scared of you're protected this is really crazy i gotta tell you <laughs> i gotta tell you this because this is really crazy because there is a literal armed security guard that was hired and it's called five point security like a, and it has a star on it five pointed star okay and they were hired to watch my building you can't make it up when i say you can't make these things up you cannot make it up i didn't hire them nobody i know hired them but that's how the universe works so when the universe says something is coming, you're protected, you can't see, this is when, why you have to follow in faith. This is why you have to follow in faith. I mean, there's nothing really <laughs> else to say about that, okay? Like, you're being divinely protected at this time. So if you see cops, if you've been seeing a lot of cops around you or around your home or something like that, they may not even know why they're there. They may just be like, oh, I had a call down here. But you're being protected, okay? And it's universal, okay? It is energetic. It's not rational. Because I guarantee you, if I go out there and ask the person, hey, why are you, why are you here? Who hired you? the apartments because of something so it's not 
But energetically, if you get what I'm saying from the spiritual realm, it was all divinely orchestrated. That's how the spiritual realm works. And people don't understand that sometimes, but that's how it works. That's how it's always worked in my life. Okay. And that's why I tell you guys what I say. Yep. This is why you have unnecessary fear. <laughs> you have no need to fear. Okay. You will have no regrets. You are fine. You are loved. You are doing well. You are on the right path. Change is coming because you have initiated it and you have been initiated. Okay. This is an opportunity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's pull. They want me to pull a divine feminine card again. So let's pull that and then I'm going to wrap it up. is around you protecting you that came in again so this could be somebody's ancestor or you have ancestral lines to egypt maybe you don't know that but you do okay somebody could be questioning something about you i don't know but your ancestors are saying you have ancestral lines in egypt some of you may need to take a DNA test. Others of you know. I'm hearing no. Do not give your blood. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. If your intuition has always told you don't take an ancestry DNA test, don't give your blood, don't send your blood off, you better listen. Okay? Do, never not listen when it comes to stuff like that because just like I told you, in the spiritual realm, weird stuff could happen and it's like unexplainable. If your intuition is telling you not to do something, don't do it. Please don't. It's not good. Okay. This is the presence of the divine feminine telling you not to do it. Okay. At the center of everything, there is light and I am that light. Maybe you're, you're not meant to be known or something like that. Like, they don't need to know you or I don't know. Maybe later on down the line you can do this or get your ancestry thing. I don't know. But the answer is no for right now for some of you. Okay. They want me to tell you who is not supposed to give their blood. So who is not supposed to send their blood off? I hope y'all didn't do it already. Who is not supposed to send their blood off? For So an, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, do not do this at this time. Only when you're guided to. A water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, do not send your blood off. Leo, do not send your blood off. Libra, do not send your blood off. If you did, if they did, now what? <laughs> if they did, what do you want to tell them? Uh, don't do it again. And... You'll be protected by a divine feminine, but, um, yeah, but there could be some energies come around you that don't wish you the best, okay? Just be strong during this time. They may try to fuck with your money or something like that, but, okay, I don't know. But divine feminine will kind of, like, protect you or her ancestors will, so, I don't know. So what Divine Feminine right now is around <coughs> from their ancestry or, you know, helping them because this is ancestor messages right now. So the Morning Star, Queen Esther, my ego is in service of my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing. So 
this energy is around you trying to get your ego to service your soul okay instead of controlling your soul <laughs> okay the morning star queen of the outsider sarah lakali i have arrived i am where i will always be in love and segment is here segment is coming through strong so this is definitely somebody's patron like this this th this energy was here yesterday okay um you definitely have a connection some divine feminine definitely has a connection to segment um so she's here protecting you okay and yesterday i received a message that there could have been someone that was stalking you or watching you for somebody else or maybe they were just stalking you watching you for themselves but someone saw her saw this energy in a form and what's weird about this is that and I'm t when I say a message, I'm saying I had a reading pop up on my phone that I wasn't even looking for. And it started playing. And there was a lot of synchronicities of numbers that I have given to you guys over the course of a few months. And it was the same numbers. I was like, uh oh, and they were telling me this, this is a message. So they said that whoever was stalking this person saw an angelic alien like being surrounding this person's home and they have it on video or a picture and now they're so scared of what they saw they won't go towards this person anymore they have completely said i'm not doing this this could even been a pi that was hired so if this sounds familiar, they saw this energy because um, the way that she described it was a big figure with wings. And I asked yesterday, what energy? And I pulled segment and then she came out today and she was out there yesterday in my reading. So this is highly connected to somebody. Uh, and like I said, she's no one to mess with so there's someone here who has a strong tie to egypt okay i'll read you from the book this energy but she's definitely out here protecting somebody and she's not playing no games okay I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Yeah, she's, and remember, I was channeling angry energy yesterday. She's angry. So, so there is somebody or some group that continues to attack or go towards divine feminines. Okay, this could be people that the karmic uh, spouse has sent, anything, okay, however it resonates, okay? You could have hidden enemies you don't even know about, okay? Um... Well, she's coming for their heads, okay, is what I'm hearing. Segment represents the sacred rage that keeps us protected and reminds the world of the pure strength of female power. Segment is an Egyptian warrior goddess depicted with the head of a lioness and the body of a woman. The lion was considered the fiercest hunter in Egypt and a sign of protection. She is the daughter of the sun god Ra. The red solar disc that she wears indicates that she is a solar deity. She is known as the powerful one, the red lady, she who mauls, and the one before whom evil trembles. So evil is scared of her. Okay. The ancient Egyptians held rituals at the end of war and at the beginning of each new year to tame the wrath of segment. They would play music, drink beer that was dyed with pomegranate juice, and dress all of the segment statues in red. It was believed that the inebriation would lull the goddess into a stupor and end her destruction. Segment was a powerful guardian and protector of the pharaoh. She was called on during times of war and considered to be a goddess of divine retribution. And we are in the middle of war. We're in the middle of closing a cycle. Holy rage, sacred ang anger, and positive aggression. These states of being are crucial aspects of the divine feminine. It's the female power that ends wars, that brings home missing children, that seeks justice for the earth and for those who can't defend themselves. 
The brilliant artist and mystic William Blake relates that the voice of honest indignation is the voice of God. The feminine has for too long been disassociated from rage and anger. If we can't embody the fiery emotion of anger, it often festers or expresses itself in subversive, manipulative ways, or it leaves us anxious and frustrated. Positive aggression, acting with love on behalf of what breaks our heart or enrages us, is what allows us to become agent, agents of change, to better our lives and the world around us. Segment wants us to come face to face with our true strength. Power doesn't come from passive aggressive behaviors. We don't have to fear expressing our anger directly to an institution or a person who is acting unjustly. Segment wants us to see that anger is an essential emotion. And segment is the sacred call to move that anger from pure emotion into conscious action. She wants us to act with conviction and from love. She wants us to create the healthy boundaries we need so we aren't injured again and again or so that we can free ourselves from a destructive pattern. It's time to end. We have a divine right to draw a sac sacred circle around us at all times. The protection we invoke for ourselves and others help us move from feeling helpless to taking loving action. So the meditation is where can I create loving boundaries in my life? And I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. So if you've been angry lately or recently and you're like, oh man, this is wrong. I don't need to feel this way. Segment is saying, no, you feel it and you channel it into determination and strength and love and creating justice, right? To doing justly things, not hurting innocent people. Okay. But channeling it into a positive direction to saying, no, I will not be used again and thrown away and abused again, or no, I will not be, you know, <clears throat> taken advantage of in any way. My kindness is not weakness, okay? I just heard only in the eyes of a coward. Ooh, ooh. The queen of saintly women, Rabia, Rabia, I am in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move, and the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so what energy was her ans their ancestors trying to stop? The negative ancestors. What energy was their negative ancestors trying to stop? The one that was against the divine feminine. They were trying to stop this energy. I have arrived and I am where I will always be in love. They didn't want you to find love. They didn't want you to have love. Oh, Lord. They want me to pull two more. I always do three. They wanted to stop the divine feminine. Wow. The cosmic egg. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an ever-expanding love. They did not want you to have your power. They did not want you to have... Every divine feminine has the power of the universe within them. So does divine masculine. Because you encompass all the queens. The empress encompasses all four queens. The emperor encompasses all four kings. Divine feminine, your family did not want you to have this power. They did not want you to step in your, into your divinity. The negative ones didn't. For some of you, they didn't. You So for some of you, they didn't want you to step into this either. The diamond-hearted Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. They didn't want you to be free of your ego. They wanted you to continue your life of ego to continue that in your lineage, in your bloodline. They didn't want you to see the light. They wanted to keep you in the dark. Some of you need to look at your ancestors and kind of read and see who they were. I know I've talked about mine. Mine weren't the best. <laughs> I've said that time and time again. And I've always channeled it was from my father's side. Even though parts of me didn't want to believe it. 
but is it a coincidence that all of the men on my father's side were Freemasons? Like when I tell you that as far back as I could connect them, they were Freemasons. All of the men were Freemasons. They all had their own businesses that they passed down from generations. Um, and most of the women in my family were abused by their husbands. And a lot of the women were sexually abused. Um, my father was the only one that did not become a Freemason. He did inherit a business that he continued that ended up going out of business, but he never became a Freemason. And he was also a divine masculine. So that told me everything that I needed to know. Something didn't sit right in his spirit. And I've always channeled that those people were against me. So at least those men, right? Um, so <laughs> um, the other people in my family are my ancestors are the ones that are rooting for me. Okay. So that's why I always said like I know that's why I said a long time ago that I feel like my ancestors like I feel like they wanted me to do something not something negative. Yeah, they wanted me to stay in my ego and continue to be in the dark to continue that. Uh no, no. <laughs> We're not doing that here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're not doing that here. We're the green Tara, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs me every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. And that's exactly what ended up happening. <laughs> the prophetess of true power. Look at that. Thecla. And here we go. A lion. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. Right. So they're telling me that they were using my power. They were using my energy in the spiritual realm, even though they were deceased. I don't I don't know if you guys understand that your power can still be drained from the spiritual realm. I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I'm channeling. I don't know. Um How are they using it in the spiritual realm? This could be happening in some this could be happening in someone else's family too. So this is why I'm called to share this. How is this working in the spiritual realm? Yeah, so the spiritual realm that they're in could be really chaotic and disruptive and like, you know, yeah, disconnected from emotion. Um, so what are they using my power for? My energy for? To create some type of stability or peace within their environment. So once I call back my power like I just did, then what? Oh! Then it's going to go bye-bye. <laughs> They're going to be pissed. They're going to be left in the dark. This is in the dark. That's moonlight. So that's darkness. Okay? That's barren. Yeah, but we're going to have victory in the light. Okay. And those are the ancestors that were rooting for you the whole time. Okay. That had your back, that loved you. Okay. Yeah. That helped you manifest peace in your mind and in your heart. Okay. That's how the ops, that's how the ops is looking right now. Your uh, ancestors that were working for the enemy there. All right, that's it.